Welcome to Satvidya Java Tutorials. We are in Gendrix and this is our last lesson in the Gendrix. So in this lesson we are going to just look at the restrictions that we have on Gendrix. We already know all and just we are going to review with an examples here. So let's go to the Eclipse and see our first Guy, first restriction we cannot initiate generic type with primitive types whenever we are dealing with generic types and we are discussing this from first section we cannot initiate primitive types like this if you are going to initiate like int it is going to produce an error because generic accepts only objects and here you can pass the same integer with a wrapper class like this and this is allowed now coming to our second rule look at here you have a list with t type as a parameter and for that you cannot create the instance of the type parameter if you are trying to create the instance of the type parameter then it is going to produce an error by saying cannot initiate the type t this is not allowed in on gendrix now coming to a third rule you cannot uh, make the static fields that means what we already know if you make the static the static fields when you are creating class uh, we deal uh, with the objects by uh, providing the type over here whenever we are uh, dealing with type uh, static means we are going to access with directly class and it is going to pro the compiler is going to be confused at the runtime that's why it is not going to allow you to create the static gen types now coming to our third point fourth point so here we cannot cast or instance of the parameterized types in Gendix. So whenever you are creating it like an integer or Gendix, if you are trying to cast it, it is not going to allow you to cast like this. So what it is going to say, we cannot cast from list integer to the list number. This is not allowed. But uh, coming to wildcards, it, it is going to be allowed. In wildcards, we can cast it. So coming to our fifth point cannot create arrays of the parameterized types here if you are trying to create array like this then also it is going to produce an error by saying cannot create a generic array of list integers this is also not allowed on generic now coming to our sixth point so look at here for example we, if you are trying to implement the polymorphism concept and here I have a set boards of and uh, integer type and next time you want to create uh, the set board of with the list of string types and uh, if you are trying to do that then it is not going to allow you to do that again it, the conflict comes here it is going to say you eraser of method set boards of is the same as another method of type motor boards as we discussed the type eraser is going to give you a conflict here it is not going to let you to do this that's why we cannot do this and if you want to do it like different parameters you can make it like string as like this now it is going to allow since we have only one parameters here you have two parameters over here and you cannot even do the you cannot even override the method where the formal parameter types of each overload arises the same raw types that's why we cannot do like this and these are the uh, restrictions and also we do have uh, restrictions uh, on exception we cannot uh, use for try catch and throw where we did not discuss it about all those and when we finish it again we'll have a quick review on it so here are the rules we cannot initiate the generic type with primitive types we cannot create the instance of type parameters we cannot declare static fields whose types or type parameters cannot use casts or instance of with parameterized types cannot create arrays of parameterized types cannot overlay a method where the formal parameter types of the each overloaded arrays arrays to the same raw types cannot create catch or throw objects for parameterized types I hope you understand these generics and these guidelines was taken from Java document and in our next section we are going to deal with packages so don't miss it keep watching if you like this video please like and share to your friends who want to learn Java from basics and please don't forget to subscribe and for our notifications please press the bell icon below and for notes please visit www.it.satvidya.com thank you